have had a more conventional uh, day than yesterday. You know that yesterday it was something more disruptive. But uh, in my opinion, same quality at least. Uh, I think uh, uh, using Joanna's uh, word, words, uh, I think we have been able to brought the right people into the same room. In the Basque Country, we boast a vibrant cybersecurity ecosystem and, in my opinion, undoubtedly, the most advanced in Southern Europe. Many of the topics discussed here, uh, these two days, are very closely related to the sustainability and the growth challenges our ecosystem is facing. Our companies have been, have been working in this business of cybersecurity for the last 30 years. And they want to continue, to continue uh, holding this leadership position for the next uh, 10 years. We have designed, together with the sector, a strategic plan to make our ecosystem even more competitive. Our ambition is to address our specialization to the challenges of digital protection, orienting it primarily to processes and products in the energy and advanced manufacturing sectors, including the manufacturing of biomedical devices, which is an emerging vertical in this region. We have chosen this specialization for different reasons. Firstly, because the scenario, the international competition, uh, has a very low maturity level, so we are holding an advantageous position today. It brings us an opportunity. Secondly, because it is an area for which demands expected to grow greatly in the next decade. And thirdly, because we have a widely internationalized and strongly digitalized uh, industry that might help us pilot and scale our solutions locally, this market, to build them and grow uh, internationally and uh, becoming them from customer-oriented uh, solutions to sectoral solutions. We believe that this strategy makes sense and can be significant also from uh, an European perspective, which is being discussed here these days. On the one hand, because developing cutting-edge technology specialized uh, in the Basque Country is developing cybersecurity made in Europe. On the other hand, because integrating protection into electronic devices is precisely what the Cyber Resilience Act is seeking for. And uh, it's really possible to do it successfully, as David Barroso uh, told us yesterday with that uh, brilliant presentation. Uh, and this is, has not been the only case. Uh, it also happened in the past with, company, uh, with companies like Panda Security, HDIV Security. It's happening today with Silpath, with Barbara, Obscura, not to forget any, anybody, Four Nines, Open Cloud Factory, that are yesterday in the panel, Y Security Global, Relium, all of them, all of them, success story, without going out from this region. Additionally to that, the good news is that some other companies are coming, and not only here, also in Europe, as we uh, listened yesterday to these 11 brilliant companies that were competing for the award. By the way, I want to congratulate Brighter AI for their public award yesterday. Yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed the dynamics for networking and to bring ourselves together. I really hope that these two days have been very fruitful for you. Also fun, but fruitful. Uh, and we thank EXO for choosing Bilbao. Uh, we thank again uh, for this event. We, we have had the opportunity to, pre to present our ecosystem and also our way of, of, doing, of doing this kind of things. So I, I like uh, today in the International Women's Day also uh, to make visible uh, all these brilliant women that have been accompanying me during these days. Uh, Raquel in the first row, my team, Alight, uh, chairwoman of this uh, event, also Patricia from uh, a partner of us, and Irache. I think she's not in the room, but she's also been working very hard. So I like to make them visible because uh, without them, uh, this thing so brilliantly, it wouldn't have been possible. So thank you very much for coming again. Uh, 
uh, and now uh, another Basque meal is waiting for us. So you all may proceed and uh, big applause for all of you.